Hey, what's up? Good morning, my loves. Jasmine Atten, Mystic at the Crossroads. Super quick video. I got a message in my inbox today, and I wanted to help you guys decipher the difference in court case candles so that you are using the appropriate ones. Um, as you can see, I have right here a Law Stay Away candle. And this one is primarily used for your protection from legal things. So if you have a court case coming up, um, you could potentially be facing jail time, or if you're a person who's just prone to legal trouble, then a law stay away candle would be good for you. Versus a court case candle or a win judgment. As you can see, there's only one left, so there's apparently a lot of people dealing with legal cases. These are used for once you already have, so you have a ticket, you have a misdemeanor, you have a fine, you have something going on that you want to try to fight in court and have the judge be on your side or in your favor, then you want to use one of these. Another candle that I find that works very well is the, the, for the, you have it the John the Conqueror candle. Um, Hi John the Conqueror candles are great for almost any type of legal case. I know a lot of clients use these in um, things pertaining to custody, um, pretty much anything. The way I like to use them is I like to combine the two together. So I'll do like a court case and a John the Conqueror or a win trial and John the Conqueror. I was looking to see if they have one called Just Judge, which I don't see here. And I really, I really wanted that candle today, but that's okay. Just Judge candles are to do what's called sympathetic magic. So that's what you would use like with your honey jars when you're working on the judge. So for example, a few years ago, my license got suspended. And I went to court, I burned a John the Conqueror candle, a honey, a honey jar with a Just Judge candle, whole case got thrown out. So that's for more small, small legal things. You have an eviction, you know, something like that. Um, not necessarily best for, you know, someone who's on trial for murder. That's a totally different set of candles. But to take care of little things to get rid of in your life, then that's, what, that's the way you want to go. I have here, I'm doing a marriage spell for a client. So I picked up a marriage candle in the color red. Um, red is used to attract a marriage proposal. White is used to bless an engagement that's already happened or bless a marriage that is going to happen, meaning there's a date set or it's already happened. But red is to attract the actual proposal itself. And I like to combine those with either these rose candles or honey and rose candles. These are really good for just sweetening up the relationship, sweetening up the partner, getting them to... Um, make that next step basically so that's pretty much it you guys I just wanted to do a very quick little video um, yeah I always get myself in trouble in here because they're like please don't record so I'm gonna hop off of here but I thought I would share my little witchy tip of the day if anybody is looking for some court case work or you're going to do a marriage spell these are the tools that you will use um, as always, you can book a consultation, private consultation, reading, or spiritual service with me through my website at oneritualaway.com. Love you guys. Talk later.